Hey everybody, Angela here. Um, I honestly don't remember what all I've shown you guys, and I feel like this is not a good angle, but whatever. Um, I hope you all had a good holiday season, Christmas and Hanukkah and New Year. Um, we had a rough Christmas. Henry was really, really sick and ended up in the ER twice for IV flu fluids, and yeah, it was just... It was rough. So anyway, we just had our Christmas dinner yesterday. We kept putting it off, hoping everyone would be healthy. Um, finally, everyone in our house is healthy. Um, so anyway, but <clears throat> I don't remember. I didn't. I don't think I did. So after I went to my sister's house, when I came back, um, there was a little chihuahua that was basically abandoned at the local pet store. And it's a pet store where I buy some stuff for my animals. And so my friend Jessica, who works there, had posted on Facebook this chihuahua. Um, and it was a sad story. <laughs> and I'm a sucker. <laughs> but anyway, um, her, her dad's an elderly man. And her mom's an elderly woman. And the elderly woman um, apparently got severe dementia. And... So the elderly man took her around town. I just heard at the vet's office yesterday that she, he took her there too and asked him if they could find her a new home because he just could not take care of his wife and the dog. And uh, anyway, our pet store did take the dog and Jessica posted her saying we're looking for a forever home. So anyway, I ended up, after I came back from my sister's house, um, my husband and I had talked about it and he said if you come back and she still doesn't have a home we'll take her so anyway everybody this is Chi Chi <laughs> um, her owner said she was six but the vet and I both think she's much older hi you okay yeah she's got those bug eyes she's a chihuahua she doesn't bark, bark that much but here's the thing she shivers all the time so I joined a, a testing group to test this dog sweater pattern okay and I did the extra small because she's nine pounds and it just wasn't long enough and then I did small and it was too big around and she kept just stepping out of it so I finally did extra small but with extra length and now she's got this sweater and she's not shivering as much anymore she still wants to be on people's laps all the time. But anyway, we don't know how old she is. We don't know much about her. We do know her teeth are rotten. So I, she has to have a whole dental thing. It's going to cost a lot of money. But I knew that when we took her. I knew she had bad teeth. So in the next few months, we're going to take her in and get her teeth extracted. Because the other night when I was putting the sweater on her for the first time, one of her teeth got snagged by it. And it ripped her tooth out which it was rotten. I mean, it was rotten, bad rotten. And I told the nest, or uh, I told the vet about it yesterday when I took her to the vet. The vet was like, yeah, they're rotten. She's gonna need to have probably all of them extracted. So that, that also makes me think she is older than six. Like even with a poor diet, their teeth aren't rotten at six normally. Um, Chihuahuas and poodles both have really crummy teeth, which are the dogs that we have. Um, so, you know, it's not surprising, but anyway, so that's Chi Chi and this is a sweater I made and I, the sweater pattern is out, I think actually, okay. When the sweater pattern comes out, I don't know if it's come out yet. Um, I will post it. So can you sit here, Chi Chi? I feel kind of like Llama Mama Kayla with her, um, why can't I remember her dog's name? I'm sorry, Kayla. Can't remember your dog's name, but she's a little chihuahua and she's very excitable. Um, Chi Chi's not as excitable, but she definitely is nervous a lot. Although she seems very happy here. She's getting into the routine of things. Um, at first she was really scared of our standard poodle, Sophia, who's like 60 pounds. Um, oh, she jumped off the bed. Good for her. <laughs> our bed is higher than most beds <laughs> and she's tiny. But anyway, um... So at first she was really scared of Sophia and she didn't want to go outside or anything because she was just scared. But she's much better now. She's definitely holding her own with the other dogs and she's doing good. So anyway, um, I made... Oh, I can't show this. Okay, I'll have to show this in another one. Okay. 
So I got the most fun surprise. I got um, a package from um, Christy at Tea Doddles, Christy Cook. And I was like, that's weird. I haven't ordered anything from her. Like I order from Tea Doddles. I think I've ordered now for <laughs> project bags. I just love her design. Um, but anyway, I hadn't ordered anything. And so I open it up and it's this yarn. And it's this like orange and multicolored colorway. And um, Show Real Studios. And it's sock weight, 75% um, merino, 25% nylon. And I was like, that's weird. Why would she send me that? So anyway, I opened the card and she said, Angela, I got this yarn with the intent to send it to you. All the proceeds from the purchase went to an organization that helps with MS, which is so sweet. The um, ribbon for MS is orange, which is why they dyed it orange. So anyway, I remember seeing it in one of her episodes and I remember saying to her, you know, as someone with MS, thank you for supporting, you know, research and stuff. So anyway, it was so sweet. And then a couple of um, little markers too. And this one I love. Oops, it's just bouncing around. She believed she could, so she did. And then there's one that's just a little jingle bell. So anyway... Thank you, Christy. That was so sweet. And I, it was so unexpected. So I appreciate it very much. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it, but it's going to have to be something awesome because that's the first time someone has given me like an expensive, you know what I mean? Like these yarns are not cheap. I'm sure you all know that. So, um, I mean, I've gotten some yarns that were more on the expensive side, side, but you know, I have to figure out what to make with this. I might need to dye some of my own yarn to make enough yarn to make something good. Okay, now I'm going to warn you. I made a tea cozy for a teapot and it's a vulva. So if you don't want to see that, <laughs> you might want to turn away. I think it's hilarious and it was so fun to make. And the, the friend I made it for, um, she had seen something similar a few years ago and tagged me in it. And so I knew that she would love it. So anyway, okay. Turn away if you don't want to see the Volva Tea Cozy. Right now, turn away. I'll let you know when you can turn back. <laughs> okay, so here's the teapot. And here's the Volva Tea Cozy. <laughs> I had so much fun making it. Because it really is art. Like, there's no set pattern. This is, like, I followed a video where she said, this is how I made mine. And then you just kind of do your own thing with your own colors and your own. But anyway, it was hilarious and fun. So I'm going to be sending that to my friend who lives in Oregon. Um, but I'll probably have to make more. I'm going to have to start keeping an eye out at a various secondhand shops for cheap teapots because you have to have the teapot to make it because you make it to the teapot. Um, I'm going to put some elastic around the bottom to hold it down. But anyway, it was fun and it only took me a day because I had so much fun doing it. <laughs> anyway, so that was funny and fun. Um, I think that's it for what I've made. I don't I honestly don't remember what the last time I talked to you was. Um, so I did finish a sweater. I made, of course, the dog sweaters. I made something else that I can't show because the person that it's going to is going to watch this. So I will show it after I send it to them. Um, yeah, that's it, I think. Um, I hope you all had... I already said that. I hope you all had a wonderful holidays. And um, and I ho I cannot wait for the kids to go back to school. Other moms who don't homeschool, <laughs> I bet you're just waiting too. We are ready. It's been a long break. Um, so, ready to go. Oh, also I was there for a friend of mine when she had her baby. Since the last time I talked to you. And she's the one. she got one of those star blankets. 
Um, the brighter one is the one that I had made for her. So that was fun. Um, and I'm going to go see her again this weekend. So I guess that's it. I just wanted to do an update. I keep forgetting and I keep not doing it or I think about it and I don't do it. I think the COPPA thing just threw me off my game entirely. Um, but now my mind is put to ease and I have things set where I feel safe. So now I'm not feeling that weird about it. Chi Chi keeps shaking. <laughs> She's got a jingle bell on her collar. My daughter bought her a collar with spikes on it <laughs> and a jingle bell. Um, so she's this little tiny chihuahua who wears a sweater and shivers and wears a collar with spikes, <laughs> which is hilarious. I'm glad my daughter did it. Anyway, all right, I will talk to you later. Have a good January. Bye.